Yesterday, we showed you how to create a custom service using Automator, but OS X doesn't really make it evident as to where these services are saved. We're gonna show you where in this video. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to locate the service that you create. So the first thing you wanna do is go up to your finder menu in the menu bar, click go, and then select go to folder. And then you wanna type in library services. This is your user library, so you'll need a tilde. And once you click go, it'll open the services folder in your user library. And from there, you can just drag that to the trash can if you want to or you can rename it or whatever else you wanna do. You can delete it, archive it, however else you wanna manage it. It's just nice to be able to locate it. But I'm gonna bring it back because I wanna show you one other thing. This is actually something you may wanna use instead of deleting it when you wanna get rid or stop using a service, at least temporarily. So open system preferences, click keyboard, and then click shortcuts. Then click the services section on the left side. And now look, you see your custom service right there. So what that means is that you can disable that temporarily instead of outright deleting it by just unchecking it. So let me just show you what I mean here. I'm gonna create a screenshot. I'm gonna right click on this screenshot, go to services, and you don't see a resize service in this list because it's disabled. But when I go back and re-enable it, I right click, go to services, you see the resize service right there. So you can quickly enable or disable services using our system preferences keyboard. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.